Yo, what's going on guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode of Russian Fishing Fort. And today I'm going to show you a couple very active spots for sturgeon. And hopefully you can catch some. So, and this is also without PVA. So without any further ado, let's jump right on in into today's video. At night time, we'll start about 20 o'clock. This should be with the sturgeon to start coming in here. I think I got one on the end of line one. Let's see here. Yeah, if you try to do this during the day, I don't think you're going to get any bite because I, I sure didn't. <laughs> I sat on my ass here for a good about eight hours in game, nine hours, and nothing. So, yeah, that confirms it. Nighttime is when the sturgeon is like fighting on the Donuts River. And I am using some rhino beetles and some cockfly beetles. All right, come on in. I think this is the very first one I have ever caught in. Yep, a Russian sturgeon, 11.9. Look at that bad boy. What's up, dude? What's up? All right. Love to see it. I'm going to keep you. All right, another place you can catch sturgeons at is at Tunguska, 57.116. And I believe you can catch Russian sturgeons here. Um, I'll have to check after this fish. East Siberian ones. Um, let's see see what this one's going to be I don't use PVA which I would if I had it unlocked PVA would increase your bite rates up by a lot oh, yeah so East Siberian sturgeons not too bad So what I'm using for this setup here is no feeder leaders, the cockfly larva, um, large hook. You can you can use extra large. Most people do. I don't. <laughs> I'm a different breed. I use large. So yeah, this is another spot you can get sturgeons. Let's see what all we can catch here. Do do, do. Berbert, stay away. I don't even like you. <laughs> Yeah, the East Siberian sturgeons as well. They get pretty massive. Holy cow. Um, wait, is that it? No. There's the Siberian sturlet. So there's East Siberian and there's Siberian sturlets. Okay. So is that the only kind that's in here? That's one... The two kinds, eh? Two kinds of sturgeons. All right. Well, let's see. If we can get another sturgeon on, that'd be pretty cool. We'll see. All right, we got one on line one. Holy, you gotta calm down there, buddy. All right, we got a decent size one on. I did throw some uh, dry mix out there, uh, spod rod. I'm not sure if it works on rivers because if you let the juices out, it's just gonna flow away. <laughs> the current's just gonna take it away. I'm not, so I'm not sure. I did, anyways. I'm not sure if it works. If one of you can let me know in the comment section down below if spod rods do work in rivers, but we'll see. Hey, this is a, this is a juicy one. I'll tell you that much. This is very juicy. I'm gonna need you to come in. Uh, come on in, all right, buddy? You're probably not gonna come in anytime soon, are you? Probably not. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll sit here for an hour and a half, and I'll be back when this thing. Is just about in. He's right here. Oh, I see you. Ah, oh, no, no. Don't you dare pull my, my line back over there. No, no. No, it's time to come in now. You're so close. Need a little more energy. Honey, you're right there. You're surfacing. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't. Please don't. I sat here for like half an hour. Please. <laughs> Please don't go back in the middle of the river. No, no. Come on. Oh, you're so close. I seen you surface once. Man, I can't wait to upgrade from the HSV. Oh, I cannot wait. I can almost upgrade one. Well, I could have upgraded one by now, but my ocean rod, the vein, um, not Venga, uh, the Tega, it costed me 2,500 silver to repair it. So yeah, there goes 2,500 out of the bank account. That was, that, that was not nice. So... 
That's going to delay our upgrading from the HSV a little bit, but not much. I can earn that back in no time. Okay, Sturgeon. Okay. I get it. Oh, my goodness. Every time I just won't get him in, he goes. <laughs> okay, well. I thought he was coming in, but I guess not. All right, I'll see you for another half an hour, and then I'll be back when he's soon to be reeled in. All right, he's right here. Finally came in. Don't you think about it. Oh, no, he thought about it. And it doesn't help that my HSV is here all worn down to like 15%. That doesn't help. I'd rather buy a new one instead of upgrading. Hey, what's up, dude? What do we got? 17.6 East Siberian Sturgeon. Look at that bad boy. Oh, man, a 17 should not be should not be taking that long. Oh, that's because I'm using HSVs. But don't worry. Soon enough, we will be buying the, um, I think... I'm not sure what they're called. They're not Vengas, but they're close to the Vengas, and they can still go up to like a 27 kg. So, yeah, they're the silver ones, the silver reels. I'm not sure the name. I'll I'll figure out the name later. But yeah, nice fish. All right, and we got a couple bites on each line. I did throw ahead and put some uh, ground bait on. I totally forgot you could do that. <laughs> it's been so long since I put ground bait on uh, on my feeders. What is this? Oh, it's a baby one. It's a regular Siberian Sterling. Look at you. All right. What is going to be on the third one? I did switch spots to 133. I'm switching back and forth. Are you going to eat it? Are you going to swallow that hook? Oh, yeah, you are. You're going to swallow that good. Yes, you are. Oh, line one's going off. Oh, my goodness. It's sturgeon honey hole. Oh my goodness. I do not mind sturgeon honey holes. I'll tell you that right now. Unless um, unless they're over 100k. Or like 50, 60k. Then I probably don't want it. <laughs> well, what do we got here? Is this another baby? Probably. Oh, it's a bird. Burbit, get out of here. Stop wasting my expensive bait, all right? I don't want you. Goodbye. I'm going to release you so you can tell your other friends that you don't, that I don't want you to bite. These are too expensive a bait for you to be biting the hook. Sturgeons only. I'm stuck. Thank you. All right. I've seen line one go off. And there he is. This is another bourbon at 8 a.m. I'm not going to be a happy camper. It is another bourbon. Oh my goodness. You are not wasting my bait. These are like $1.50. Like 30 of them. I don't know how much, but they're expensive. Alright, let's see what else we can catch here. Oh, we got something on line three. Oh, what, what is that? What is... All right, I don't know. He was doing something weird. All right. If I get one more burbot, I swear, they're going to feel my wrath. All right, another Siberian sterilet. There we go. There's some good XP. 7.7. .7. What's up, dude? Hey, thank you for biting the hook. Thank you for your service. We got another one. All right, we got another one here in line three. Let's see what's on the end of line three. I think it's a sturgeon. It probably is a burbot because I said sturgeon. <laughs> it better not be a burbot. No, it's an amateur catfish. All right, sweet. I'll take that. It's a little bonus. Forgot you can catch him here. Alright, not bad. Alright, something wants to take line one. What are you going to be on a cold, rainy night? Be a monster sturgeon. Be a, well, well, not monster. Be a big, <laughs> be a big sturgeon. Oh, did you take it? You took it. Oh, 
wouldn't mind a trophy Ammer. I wouldn't mind either trophy um, Thurgin, but I don't think a trophy anything. It'd be nice to get a trophy. I don't get enough of them. You gotta be close. There you are. There you are. Oh, it's a burbit. Oh, okay. A 5.1 burbit, though. That's not bad. Alright, well, I'll take it. Let's keep going here. Hey, what's the end of line one? This has to be an East Albania Siberian. Unless it's a very, very small, regular Siberian. Oh, it's Siberian. It's a baby Siberian. All right, not bad. I'll take it. Thank you. All right, we got something juicy on line three. Oh, yeah. What I'm talking about. Our biggest one was, what, 11? 13 kilograms, I think. Maybe higher. I'll check. Come on in. Man, if this was a if this was an East Siberian, this is probably like a trophy because they don't get that big. But if it's a, this is probably a regular Siberian, which they do get really big. So there's a big difference from Eastern and regular. Man, if this is an Eastern, this is like a blue tag. I doubt it though. This is definitely one hundred percent a regular Siberian. Probably around twelve k. I think my other one fought a little harder than this one did. So, unless this is a East Siberian, I think this is a small, um, regular Siberian, probably like a 10k, 12ish. Just about in. A little bit more. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you start fighting on me. Don't you start fighting on me. You get your ass in here. Come on. An East Siberian 13K nice one all right that's gonna wrap up today's video i hope those spots helped you so you can catch more sturgeon so let's see how much money we made on sturgeon all right we were here for probably well these two i had to um leave for a little bit and come back so 456 silver and for about for most of these sturgeon i was here for about maybe 20 minutes 25 minutes and then these two down here, I probably got them within five minutes. So it doesn't take long to rack up some silver. 456 within probably half an hour. That's not bad. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to smash the thumbs up. Hit that bell, I'll the subscribe button. I'll see all of you on the very next episode of Russian Fishing Force. Take care.